Kirby's hard to get through the, the down tilt and down tilt your end. Up tilt, and Kirby's up tilt beats Kirby's beats Pikachu's down air. So it, it has, it, it's very hard. It's, I, I feel like it's harder for a Kirby to approach a ground first attack. I've been backwards all night. It's harder, for, <laughs> it's harder for a Pikachu to approach a grounded Kirby than it is for him to approach an aerial Kirby. I don't know. I, I feel like doing like basketball moves against Kirby to get them But. I can't defend Kirby. I wish Kirby was more. I think that if Kirby wasn't in the game, it would be so much more around it. Yeah, just like my, my main thought was like, that's not going to do much for me in the Pikachu matchup. But, well, like, I, I, I honestly... Link was just across from the beginning. That would be a good guy. You have to play perfectly. Yeah. That's like I know, not reasonable. You can't make mistakes, and that's crazy. I know, and I'm trying my hardest, but it still happens. You mean not good enough. It only not good enough yet. It's only the course, and then it will be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working, I'm working on it. Yeah. I mean, that's... But, like, that's the other thing, because, like, court shows us that you can at least... You can at least represent yourself. Like, you can't... There is a game to be played. Like the blood as well as that, I don't know, and that like, and that proves that it can be done. I don't know. So I heard that. Ain't nobody got to do that. Yeah, I know. But I, I think like. Fuck! Why are you telling me? Ditto for like maybe my favorite. <laughs> song. I just I just hate dittos all the time. I just I I just this symmetrical matchup feels really boring because it feels it feels like. Like, at, at the limit, we'll always be, do, be trying to do the same thing to each other. And that's boring in my mind. Yeah, that's overly so We're just arguing about low tiers in there. Because, like, the, the asymmetricality and over is, here too, I guess. is one of the things that I really find oh, yeah. the most interesting. I'm sick of it. Because yeah. then you, you're trying to do different things to each other. Because, like, if you have the same character, then theoretically the magic is always 5-5. Like except for the Falcon Ditto, that's 7-3. Guys, why don't we just enforce the Star King rule set in singles? I was just trying to make fun of how volatile Falcon is. Good evening, stream. I hope you enjoyed that scintillating round table discussion on Philosophy of 64. In the meantime, we've got Nintendo and Quit Rage. It looked like Nintendo. I, I saw that Nintendo 3 stocked Quit Rage. I didn't see much more than that. All right. Sounds like we'll be tweaking the stream. What's going on? Oh. Uh, how's that? Uh, Craig? How's that? Uh, wait. I think that works, actually. Okay. I'll just sort of lean over a little. Yeah, that works. Alright, so it looks like Nintendo is trying to laser out Quit Rage after having lost the first stock. In general, lasering, lasering Kirby is a way to keep him on the ground, but it's not exactly a way to gain an advantage. And we do see Quit Rage trying to get on top of him. So Nintendo's at least denying him that option, but he still has to approach the grounded Kirby. And that curvy butt is uh, nothing to sneeze at. Just put that down there, man. Yeah, Nintendo known as a uh, as a very laser-heavy fox, and he's sticking to it. 
And he's slowly tacking on percent until he's finally able to connect that jab up smash for the stock. And there you see, yeah, Quit Rage is, do, does look like he's going through the aerial game, and as soon as the Angel invincibly wears off, Nintendo takes that top platform so that he can't have it. Ah, great hitbox knowledge, slipping that down tilt in there. Yeah, and you see Quit Rage is trying to approach with those uh, pivot up tilts, now that Nintendo's starting to be able to keep him on the ground with the lasers. But Nintendo does routinely go back to those platforms, making sure that Quit Rage uh, can't get up there on top of him. Ha! Huh, that, that was really cute. Jab to Clank with the dash attack. But that'll clean it up. Quit Rage keeping the stock count even. Nintendo definitely playing the long game, slowly tacking on percent, and then finally when he gets an opening, just clinching it. And that should be it. There you go. Tacking on the lasers, getting a few down tilts. I love Style Island too. I hope he notices me someday. Yeah, right there you see Nintendo's perfectly content just to make sure that Quit Rage doesn't get the neutral advantage. Quit Rage sort of wondering how maybe he can. Oh, and now that Nintendo, oh, okay. Now that Nintendo has the percent lead, he can afford to just stay on that top platform all day. Ah. Uh, Ran into an up tilt. Oh, but Quit, Quit Rage doesn't quite manage to clinch it. Now Nintendo's pressuring. Ah, oh, the get up attack works out for once. And there we go. Again, just cleaning it up, going up a stock. And again, Nintendo just taking that top platform. Pressuring him now that he's sort of in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good hitbox knowledge, just edging it right out there with a the down smash. Uh, and is this? Oh no! He went for one up till too many. Uh, Nintendo with some classy shield pressure. And it looks like Nintendo's staying in Quit Rage's face now. I, I think he senses the blood in the water, he wants to finish it. Ah, uh, Miss Tech. And there we go. Another one, and Nintendo takes the set.